Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Friday, April 21st, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. SpaceX success. BuzzFeed news explodes. Dems vote against women. And the A's vote against Oakland. It's all coming up. Then Bill will be here with the message of the day. But first, a SpaceX rocket had a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. It blew up. The company, owned, of course, by Elon Musk, tried to launch the most powerful rocket ever. It was over 400 feet tall. It's a 40-story building. They launched in South Texas, 24 miles up in the air. It exploded over the Gulf of Mexico four minutes into the flight. Here is sound of the SpaceX team as their rocket exploded. You can hear how sad everybody was. Everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Wait a second, it blew up. Why are they cheering? Why are they happy? NASA and SpaceX hailed this as a success. Why? Musk said it had a 50% chance of succeeding, and it was really just a test to see how far away from the launch pad they could get. You heard the announcer early on say anything above the launch pad was icing on the cake. BuzzFeed News will shut down. They had a rapid, unscheduled disassembly but anyone could have seen that coming. BuzzFeed got famous for making those completely useless listicles, half article, half list, like 17 foods that white people have ruined and dumb quizzes like what type of grilled cheese are you? BuzzFeed was the first outlet to publish the Steele dossier, which was funded by the Clinton campaign used by the FBI to obtain warrants to spy on Biden's 2016 campaign. A bill that would protect women's sports passed the House yesterday. The Bill says that any recipient of federal financial assistance, which operates a sports league, cannot permit a person whose sex is male to participate in an activity designed for women or girls. The legislation passed with not a single Democrat voting for the bill. That is remarkable. Even the Oakland A's are leaving California. The A's bought land to build a $1.5 billion, 35,000 seat stadium in Las Vegas. The A's started in Philadelphia in 1901, moved to Kansas City in 1955, and then to Oakland in 1968. 55 years, and they can't take it in California anymore. I'm Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. The great Bill O'Reilly will be here with your message of the day next. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped 20%, and this year, could be worse. You are right to be worried. So please call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. It'll show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I have been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text G-O-L-D GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Friday, lost in the anti-Fox media hysteria was a measured statement about the homeless situation put out by former President Donald Trump. Essentially, Mr. Trump believes that unsheltered folks have no right to intrude on other Americans by camping in the streets, sidewalks, and parks. He goes on to say that local authorities should remove the tent cities but offer mental help in the process. Trump also says many of the homeless are substance abusers who do not want treatment. Donald Trump is correct in his assessment. But he might add one other measure which would stop the terrible homeless situation cold. Every American city and town should pass an ordinance that forbids camping in public areas. If the local municipalities refuse, they would not receive federal funding. Simple, effective. 
Then, if homeless people disobey the camping law, they would be arrested and detained for mental evaluation. That would be the worst thing that could happen to addicts as they would be cut off from their supply of narcotics and alcohol while in detention. Faced with that reality, squalid camps would rapidly disappear. So there is the solution to the vexing homeless intrusion. And I have to give some credit to Donald Trump. At least he's thinking about the social problems we have in this country. Is President Biden doing that? Not that I can detect. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Nadine, concierge member. I know Fox News will lose a lot of money, but they will not lose their viewers, at least not that many, because other news organizations have done a lot worse. Okay. Uh, Doris, concierge member. Won't Fox News lose viewers if they don't cover Trump adequately if he's a nominee? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, they don't want the management of Fox News doesn't want Trump to be president. I don't know if they'll lose any viewers because of that. Steve uh, Samolovitz, Egg Harbor, uh, New Jersey. Bill, if you'd like to know why Fox News is not talking much about their settlement, look at what CNN did with Nick Sandman, okay? Uh, Nicholas Sandman, you remember, uh, won a big judgment against CNN for defamation, and they didn't report it very much. Hugh Nowak, Cascade Charter Township, Michigan. Light of Fox News settling with Dominion, should the New York Post have an easy time suing all media outlets would spike the story about Hunter's laptop? No, you can't. Uh, it's got to be damages. You gotta have damages. And then you have to prove malice that the damages were intentional. And all of this mistakes or fraud by the media, you can't sue about it. Catherine Grossman, Greenville, Tennessee. Bill, you said on Wednesday there's no liberal talk radio. What about NPR? Very good point, Catherine. NPR is liberal radio, no doubt about it. Absolutely liberal. Um, Clay Jackson. I am a U.S. citizen living in Africa for the last 10 years. I never miss an episode of the No Spin News. I've been following you from your beginnings. Stay safe, Clay, in Africa. Yeah, it's a tough place, as you know. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Billionaire Elon Musk unveiled his latest business venture last week, a new company focused on the next big step in technology, artificial intelligence. In total, nine major corporations, including Microsoft, IBM, and Google, are now developing self-learning software. While some hail AI as the biggest scientific advancement since the creation of the Internet, more than three decades ago, others believe it will bring about the demise of humanity. That would not be good. Here's what some programmers think AI will be in the next 15 years. First, the medical industry, companies like Pfizer, are already deploying software to develop the next wave of drugs. Surgeries for removing brain tumors, heart bypass, even nose jobs will be performed by robots 
in the year 2040. Next, journalism. Outlets like CNN, the Associated Press, and Reuters will use AI to cover stories. Current software can produce breaking news content from research to publication in less than 30 seconds. That's faster than I can do it. Artificial intelligence will also fight America's next war, or at least be a part of that. The Pentagon is already using software to fly drones, predict enemy movement, even pilot planes and helicopters. Finally, entertainment and business. Sophisticated algorithms are replacing musicians, artists, comedy writers, and poets. 99% of all language translations will be performed by the machines. And here's something else you might not know. While some hail the arrival of AI as the next big breakthrough, others predict, as I mentioned, it will bring about disaster. A writer for Science Magazine recently asked an artificial intelligence program called Chaos GPT to appraise the human race. Said the machine, quote, humans are among the most destructive and disgusting creatures on Earth. There's no doubt we must eliminate them before they cause more harm to our planet. I, for one, am committed to doing so, unquote. Okay, back after this. Ad paid for by the Sentinel Group. Attention veterans, active duty military, civilians, and contractors. If you were issued earplugs between 1999 and 2015 and were diagnosed with hearing loss or ringing in the ears, you may be entitled to compensation. The manufacturer of these military earplugs recently paid $9.1 million to resolve claims that their earplugs were defective potentially exposing service members to damaging sound levels that could have resulted in hearing loss or tinnitus. If you or a loved one were issued earplugs and were diagnosed with tinnitus or hearing loss, don't wait. You fought for this country, and our attorneys want to fight for you. Call 800-687-1936 now for a free legal consultation and to see if you may be eligible to file a claim. Time restrictions may apply, and you pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. So call 800-687-1936 now. Again, 800-687-1936. That's 800-687-1936. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.